Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today guys, I'm gonna show you how you can prevent your PS5 controller or really any of your controllers from drifting. So, one of the best things to do is to bag your controller or at least protect it from getting dust. The number one thing you can do is to protect it from getting dust. Leaving it out in the open, even when charging, can be a problem. So make sure you have a clean home you're dusting your home regularly, and of course, your PS5 is always bagged or something. Or put it in a Ziploc, not a Ziploc, put it in a bag of any sort or anything and just keep it protected from the open. The way the PS5 controller is built, dust can easily get inside there. So that's an absolute problem. Now, if we look at the PS4 controller, on the other hand, well... It's a bit different and I don't have too much drift on the PS4 controller now I do but I mean this thing is like five years old or six years old this ain't even well honestly I experienced drifting six months in and a lot of people have so these are definitely built pretty bad and I think it has something to do with the inside as well of course I have videos on how to prevent not prevent but fix drift but basically, protecting it from dust is a key. Make sure nothing spills inside of there. Make sure that they're protected. Um, I even put mine inside of a cabinet. So I recommend putting it in a bag, putting in something, and literally storing it in a closet. Basically, keeping it out from the open is going to be the main key. So as you can see, I put it in some sort of bag. Basically, the bag it came in. And I close it as much as I can. Then I go. Store it in here. I don't really use the PS4 controller. So I kind of just leave it like that. And I will definitely tell you. Based on my knowledge. Put it in a bag. You can't just. Can't just do that. You can't just put it in a closet or something. I mean you really got to protect them. They Dust easily gets inside of them. So what I recommend is. Cover it up. Make sure like dust ain't gonna go in there and of course put it in some sort of drawer or closet. So that's exactly what I recommend doing. Um, of course, it's up to you. You could just put it in a like a purse or something similar to that um, or really anything like that at all and make sure no dust gets to it. That's pretty much the goal and that's pretty much the gist of this video. So hopefully you guys uh, got something out of it guys like the content hit the subscribe button and hit the like button